Well, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, back to the cars, also an unusual scale for me. This is from the fine folks over at Bronco, the Italian light delivery van with, with civilian. Now, they say light delivery van. We all know it's a Topolino. They obviously didn't get the license from Fiat, so they called it an Italian light delivery van. So it is a, a Topolino, a little Topolino van. Very, very nice. And uh, it's in 1 to 35. Let's have a quick look at the sides. Talks about the photo edge parts and the decals. Here is just what we had in front. Here it gives you the extra part because this kit first came out in 2013 as a, a military vehicle. The Germans apparently have uh, used as a light staff car. And then there is one, another one with new parts, a civilian version, also in 2013. And this one then came out in 2014. Here you see the figures, a couple of milk containers, and they have a look at the doors telling you that there is a clear part option for the side doors. Now, what did we find in the box? Well, we found this. So I don't know what you're supposed to do. I guess you can put it in your room, hang it up, frame it. Because that's all it is. There's nothing further on it. Just a picture of the uh, front art, box art. Then it obviously comes with a instruction sheet, which we have right over here. There we go. And... Uh, Gives you one of the major Italian cars. Well, they never, they never call it Fiat, but it is a 569 engine, and it is obviously those of you who know just know, it is the uh, Topolino. Um, it's 1948, so it's probably just after the war, where you would find a scene like this in Italy. Here we have the color callout. You want to freeze frame this quickly and uh, so if you buy this kit you are you are prepared here you go sorry for the shaking right then here we have the sprues so you can check if everything is in the box i've done that then we start with the assembly it starts as very often it does with the engine as much as there is one very small engine and uh, the radiator right over here with the radiator fan here we go, the radiator sits directly on the generator and uh, the generator was nearly as big as the entire engine. Right, so then you have the uh, suspension, here the rear suspension right over here. Wheels are right over there. And then the assembly of the frame, then putting the uh, bottom part on uh, with the seats to a and he has two, giving the fact that it is a delivery van. And uh, steering, firewall, you'll find that right over here at the bottom. Then you have uh, body parts and glass right over here. Wooden slats. Uh, the engine cover, which you can uh, mount open or closed. The wipers and the grill right over here, which obviously is very characteristic for the Topolino. And then you have the doors, which you can do with or without windows. Then we come to the final parts, which is the lights, which we see right over here at the top. Then we see uh, some uh, door assembly right here at the bottom. Then the rear doors, which once again can be opened, closed or open. I think I'll leave maybe one open. I don't know. I'll, I'll see when I get to it. And then different color schemes. So this is uh, one of the earlier color schemes when it came out in 2014, uh, 2013. This was also a 2013 uh, color scheme which was sold as an extra box. And then obviously our milk van right over here with the gray blue options and here it also gives you a pretty good idea if you want to paint the, the figures how to paint those and that ladies and gentlemen is that as far as the instructions are concerned then 
as we always do, let's have a quick look at decals and other accessories, which are in these little baggy. Right, to start with, we have, I think we can go down a little bit further now. Here we go. Manual zoom. Here we have the PE. I'm not quite sure where this goes, but we'll find out as we build it. But there is some PE. And obviously you have the decals. You have uh, number plates and you have blank number plates. Lots of numbers and letters up here. So you can make up your own number plate if that is should be in a certain part of Italy and you feel like you make want to make your own number plate, well, off you go. Here we have two parts for the dashboard, which is very nice, like that, that they haven't missed out on that. And that is it, as far as the decals are concerned. Nothing on the side, no name of the company who collects the milk, uh, nothing like that. Just a simple grey-blue van. Then let's have a, a look at the glass, which if you allow me, I would leave inside the plastic bag. Well, it, looks, it looks good enough for 135. I don't think we will have a problem with that. We'll be fine. Be just fine. A lot more glass pieces than I expected. So there might be a few which I'm not using. <laughs> we'll find that out as we go there. Then let's go to the plastic. Here we have the figures. Uh, if you're a figure painter, you might be interested in that. Here we go. Not a bad detail, I would say. Not at all, actually. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that is what you can do with the figures. Looks very nice. No flash or any of that. It's a relatively new kit, isn't it? Then we have the pan, bottom pan, and the engine cover right over here. I'll go a bit closer so you can see some of the detail. This is part of the suspension. Here's the front nose hull, as you can see, right over there. By the way, there is no chrome uh, sprue with this. There was no money for chrome I mean, after the war in Italy see the differential doors right over here and here's the engine by the way such as it is well, it is obviously a small engine to start with in 135 it's minute but there it is wheels obviously there is no vinyl on the wheels um, wheels are full plastic so you have to paint them like that there we go and uh but the detail is not bad, and they are probably as wide as they were because they were very small. It's got the bicycle wheels. We have this sprue twice. We have it here again. And then on this side, we have, I would say, part of the roof section, isn't it? That? And uh, other parts are right over here, like the headlamps, are right over here. Some very small little parts. I would say this is the bumper yeah there's some very tiny parts here which you need to be very careful with here we have a, another bottom and what i'm now trying to be busy finding out here is that we have two kits well the possibility of building two kits to uh, either or so this appears to be the normal Topolino limousine. This appears to be the delivery van. So we have two, because I saw the back side here on the one thing here, this, this looks very much like the normal uh, Topolino passenger car with uh, the folding roof. So I could actually build that if I wanted to. Let's see what I do. I'm, I'm, I'm edging more towards the delivery van. But anyway, you have the opportunity to build either or, which is great. Up to a certain point, I think when the body comes out, you probably are very limited once again to just one version. But uh, there are parts here clearly for both versions. 
Then here we have the milk canisters with the lids and the handles. That's what we have here. All looks very nicely done. Bottom and lid right over here. Right. And then last but not least, and packed separately in its own box, is only this body. So there is no body for the, uh, for the normal Tupolino passenger wagon. So there might be a pen in there and other parts and a roof section for that matter. There only is this body. I guess if you do some artful cutting, you could make it the passenger car, but uh, I don't think I will go down this road. I will build it as intended. Here we go. Let's have a look. Well, this looks very nice. There is the uh, roof, which is a kind of a vinyl vinyl roof. And uh, the sides where the wooden slats will eventually come on. If you then want to go and put them on. No, the slats actually come at the inside. Sorry. So let's go at the inside. And it actually has been molded quite nicely on the inside. There are some nasty ejector pin marks, which you will have to, if you leave it open, you certainly will have to take care of those. That's for sure. That'll be a little bit of work. But yes, that's uh, what we do. Then we have uh, the rear part with the lights. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. And then obviously the part where you can mount the doors open and closed. Bit of a stabilizing, couple of stabilizing. And actually the engine was here in front. That was all space that there was for the engine. Let me get a bit closer. And here was the tank of seven or eight gallons. So in an event of an accident, the uh, fuel will extinguish any uh, fire or danger you might have had on your lap. Yeah, I don't think it would get past today's uh, today's uh, regulations, but yeah, that's what they did. They did it in those days. There we go. And here is a bit of air venting, air conditioning, as it was in those days. Very nice size. Well, pretty small. You can see it here in my hand. Should we measure it? Why not? It was on the box somewhere as well, but we have we are fully equipped here. Looking at round about 88, probably with the bumpers and everything, round about 90 millimeters or three and three quarter inches round about. And here we are. That's it. That was the Italian light delivery van or between you and me, the Fiat Topolino delivery van. From Bronco, I think it's a beautiful little car. I'm looking forward to building it. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys have a good time and greetings from Cape Town. Cheers.